Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about derived model. So what do you mean by derived model? So in derived model what happens is we take the basic model, let's say waterfall model and we will change it as per our, as per our customer requirement. So take an example if you take waterfall model and like spiral model is derived from waterfall model or V and V model is also derived from waterfall model. So these are the two examples of derived model and this is also called customized model because we take the basic model and later on we customize, this, uh, customize the model based on our requirement. So I'll take you to my system guys where we'll discuss more about derived model. So let's get Guys, let's talk more about derived model or customized model so this is derived model is also called customized model so here we'll take a basic model take an example waterfall model or single model and change it according to the customer or business requirement or company standards is called derived model or customized model so let me give you an example so yeah in requirement uh, in waterfall model what happens is we have requirement analysis design coding testing and maintenance release and maintenance so these are the phases of waterfall model so what happens in waterfall model is we cannot go back to the previous phase which are already done which is already done so here in this case we have this is requirement analysis design coding testing uh, release and maintenance so once requirement uh, analysis and feasibility study is done we cannot go back and change the requirement so that happens in that was the biggest drawback in waterfall model now you can see uh, what do you mean by derived model so we have a spiral model which is derived from waterfall model only so this is our traditional model or base model guys if you remember already i have spoken about a waterfall model a spiral model vnv model so if you haven't watched those videos then please go and watch those videos i have provided the link in the description box of this video the complete playlist so what happens there is like a spiral model is uh, derived from base model that is waterfall model only and we have done some kind of customization in uh, in spiral model like uh, risk analysis is the biggest thing in spiral model second thing is we do the module wise module wise implementation of the uh, uh, will implement the software we'll do the coding testing module wise so these are the uh, couple of things which we customize on a spiral model so a spiral model looks like this so we have module 1 module 2 like this we do the implementation module wise so that is the uh, uh, spiral model which derived from waterfall model okay another example is v model now here also we do the testing as early as possible uh, parallelly with development life cycle so this side is software development life cycle here we have software testing life cycle here you can see uh, we have seen in v model parallelly we do we create the test plan test cases when we uh, when we go through development phases so already we have started the testing phase so this kind of customization we have done on v model so yeah this is the example two example like spiral model and v model are the customized model because they are derived from the base model now let's go move on to the next point the most significant disadvantage of previous models like waterfall model is that there were lots of customer rejection that happens after the application was developed and there was no involvement of the customer in between the project so this is the biggest drawback in spiral model or you can say sorry waterfall model and spiral model later on so so yeah the customer involvement is very uh, rare in that case uh, less so that's why again we customize we go for the another uh, customization like we have done the uh, prototype right so again we got some drawback in spiral model here you can see like i have listed on uh, i have given the spiral waterfall already we have covered like what are the disadvantages now spiral is because customer involvement is very less so hence they have started the new approach which is known as the prototype model 
so again this is customized uh, thing which we have done from the basic model like we present to the uh, present a dummy model to the customer and based on their reviews their feedback will uh, develop the actual software will actual will develop the actual product so this is a derived model guys so let's say what is next so the spiral uh, example of yeah example of a derived model so the spiral model is derived from waterfall model which we have discussed b model is also derived from waterfall model and waterfall model is known as mother of all the models so whatever model we have uh because waterfall model is also called traditional model so all the models are you see more or less derived from waterfall model so these are the examples of derived model so this was very quick guys uh because uh if i mean for knowledge purpose this is very uh, important to understand like what you mean by derived model so thank you guys for watching please like uh, this video share it and comment if you have any questions and please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye